What's up Parabolic Signals? So just wanted to do a simple update on a huge win that we had this week. So we sent out two signals. One was, so these two signals were on July 10th. One was for an ANT short with a 20x leverage and the other one was for a BTC short. And here was my ANT entry right here. And I got into entry price at 1.705, so I was a little bit late from the entry target, but I still got in. And here was the entry price for BTC, which was 21.338. And for BTC, I was able to get in exactly at the entry price. So about 20 minutes or 30 minutes after my entry, BTC was already up. I was up 39% and with Ant, I was up about like 3.63%. Uh, we were very confident with these calls, so we, so I just decided to stick this out. We, I didn't close on BTC in any position, um, even with the 39%. So after about eight hours later, I was up 25% on Ant short and for BTC. I was up 199%, but we didn't close the position. Uh, we were very, very confident about the trades, and this was about eight hours later. However, do note that you guys should take some profits when you can or close about 25 to 50% and adjust your stop losses to the new target zones. However, I was very confident about, this about both of the trades, so we decided to leave these trades for a bit. So let's see how long it took for BTC and ANT. So if we look right here, so these were some of the other signals that we had, which all came in profits. Some of them took a few days. So right now with uh, all of, actually all of our calls came in profits this week, this actually this whole month of July, we've hit about 98%. All of them hit their uh, take profits. So if you look right here on BTC, take profit target number three hit in 19 hours and 32 minutes. And then for Ant right here, um, it happened in 19 hours, around the same time, around 19 hours and 34 minutes when it started dumping. And I decided to keep on continuing on to the trade. Uh, some members did obviously close it at that time because they were in a lot of profit So if you look right here, it was BTC take profit and a target number four and this happened in one day in eight hours to uh, one day eight hours and two minutes and this was our win 470 percent on this trade alone um, We decided to stick the trade out for a little bit longer. So it took about maybe like 38 hours, 36 hours, and then we decided to finally close this trade because we were up so much. That was our BTC trade, and let me look at the win card, and let's look at when we closed. So we closed BTC at 470%, and then for Ant, we closed at 54.54%. So this was a huge win for us with the BTC. Just this signal alone uh, netted us a huge bag, so we were very happy about this signal. Um, do note that when you guys are entering the take profit zones, the targets, I do recommend take, uh, taking some profits, maybe it's whether it's 25% or 50%, and then you guys adjust your stop losses to the new target zone so that you guys can close each trade with profits. So, you know, it's all, always about risk management, unless you are sitting in front of the computer like us and we're trading all day. So if you're going to sleep, you know, set your take profits, make sure that you guys are exercising risk management and the other signal that we sent was on july 12th for an srm short here were the entry targets right here it was at one dollar to 1.04 if you look at my my entry point i actually got in a little bit late at 0.993 but i did decide to go into it as i knew that it was a good call and i knew that we had room for it so for srm Let's see how fast it took. So these were all of the take profit zones for all of our other signals. And for SRM, it hit target number one in five hours and 12 minutes. And then target number two in five hours and 28 minutes. And 
target number three in six hours and 52 minutes. And so I was able to get 116% off of the SRM signal. I did close at that moment. I thought it was a good exit point. So I closed at that moment with 116%. And then yesterday we sent out three signals, which were RLC short and OGN short and for LIT short. So we sent out these three signals. Unfortunately, I couldn't get into the L RLC short because I'm trading on Bybit and uh, on Bybit it didn't have that RLC USDT pair. However, I was able to get into the OGN and LIT. So these were the entry points right here. So 0 0.86980 for, sorry, for OGN for 0.2182 and for point for LIT 0 0.8100. So I did get into those two signals and I was able to hit some uh, take profit zones. So for LIT, so here were the take profits. Target number two happened at two hours and 20, two hours and 23 minutes. Target number three happened two hours and 24 minutes. And RLC also ended up hitting some profits, so it was a shame that I couldn't get into those calls. And then I did end up closing the OGN and LIT. And for OGN, we closed at 155.55%. Let me go back to the entry target for OGN. These were the entry targets. Um, I also got into this OGN signal a little bit late. If you notice, it says 0.2182. I got in at 0.2168. But I was still able to bag 155%. And for the LIT, we closed at 75.19%. And for this signal, I was able to get in exactly about the entry price. And I thought it was enough right there. So 75% is what we hit for LIT. So both, both calls happened for LIT and OGN. It took about maybe like 12 hours or 14 hours or Oh, for 12 hours for LIT and then about 14 hours for OGN. So we were able to close those two in profits. And this week we have actually killed the signals and we're up profit for each trade. If you guys want to check out our website, we do have a free course at parabolicincome.com. So you can check out the link below. Take a free course, educate yourself. or you guys, And you guys can join our VIP channel for our signals group and join the telegram link below and then i'll see you guys in the next video